Welcome back, fellow cat enthusiasts. I currently have the privilege of sharing my home with a male cat, although I am sure that from his perspective, he is certainly the one who allows me to share his space with him. In this video, we're shining a spotlight on our beloved male feline companions. Contrary to popular belief, male cats possess a myriad of distinctive traits that set them apart from their female counterparts. So, whether you're a seasoned cat owner or just curious about our whiskered friends, Join me as we uncover 16 surprising facts about male cats that you might not have known before. Before we go into the details of the surprising facts about male cats, please subscribe to Wise Animals and hit the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos. Let's dive in and explore the captivating world of male cats together. Number 1. Male cats are more affectionate. Male cats often earn a reputation for being more affectionate than their female counterparts, a notion supported by some studies and the observations of veterinarians specializing in feline care. They are often seen as more eager to seek out their owners for pets and cuddles. However, it's essential to recognize that each cat has its own unique personality, shaped by factors like early socialization, individual temperament, and reproductive health. So, while male cats may tend to display more affectionate behavior in some cases, it's not a universal rule and individual differences play a significant role in determining a cat's level of affection. Number 2. Male cats tend to be more active. While both male and female cats can be playful and energetic, studies have shown that male cats often exhibit higher levels of activity and may require more exercise to stay healthy and content. One reason for this difference lies in the biological makeup of male cats. Male cats are typically larger and have more muscle mass than females, which can contribute to their increased activity levels. Additionally, male cats may have higher levels of testosterone, a hormone associated with increased energy and aggression, further fueling their active behavior. Anecdotal evidence from cat owners also supports the notion that male cats are often more playful and adventurous. Many male cat owners report that their feline companions enjoy engaging in high energy activities like chasing toys, climbing tall structures, and exploring their surroundings more actively than female cats. While male cats may, on average, be more active, there are undoubtedly plenty of females who love to romp and play just as much. Number 3. They live shorter lives. Male cats generally have shorter lifespans compared to female cats, mirroring certain patterns observed in human populations. On average, female cats tend to live longer lives by about a year or two. While the precise reasons behind this discrepancy are not entirely understood, several factors may contribute to the shorter lifespan of male cats. One significant factor is the behavioral differences between male and female cats. Male cats are often more prone to roaming and engaging in territorial fights, exposing them to various risks such as injuries, infections, and encounters with predators. These outdoor activities increase their susceptibility to accidents and confrontations, which can significantly impact their overall health and longevity. Moreover, male cats are more likely to experience certain health issues that can shorten their lifespan, such as blockages, which pose a significant risk to their well-being and longevity. Number 4. Male cats are more likely to be left pawed. Male cats exhibit a fascinating trait that sets them apart from their female counterparts, a higher likelihood of being left pawed. Researchers have delved into the paw preferences of cats and discovered intriguing patterns that shed light on their behavior. Much like humans, cats tend to have a dominant paw, which they prefer to use for various activities such as knocking objects off surfaces, ascending stairs, or reaching for food. However, the interesting twist comes when considering the differences between male and female cats. Studies have revealed that female cats predominantly favor their right paws for tasks requiring manual dexterity. On the other hand, male cats show a higher propensity for left pawedness, with a significant percentage exhibiting a preference for their left paw. In fact, research indicates that approximately 52% of male cats demonstrate a preference for their left paw, while 31% prefer their right paw, leaving only 17% with no discernible preference. Number 5. Male cats tend to scratch more. Male cats exhibit stronger urges for scratching compared to their female counterparts. In the wild, cats scratch trees and other surfaces to mark their territory, 
utilizing scent glands on their paws to leave behind both visual and olfactory cues. This behavior serves to assert their ownership of the area and communicate their presence to other felines. Due to their inherently territorial nature, male cats often display a heightened need to scratch various surfaces within their environment. They may target furniture, doors, and even carpets as they seek to fulfill their instinctual drive to mark territory and maintain their domain. Scratching is a natural and instinctive behavior for cats, serving multiple purposes beyond territorial marking. It helps them shed the outer layer of their claws, stretch their muscles, and relieve stress or anxiety. Number six, they don't make good fathers. Male cats, unfortunately, do not typically excel in the role of fatherhood. Unlike some other animal species where males actively participate in raising their offspring, male cats generally exhibit limited interest in caring for newborn kittens. Their primary focus tends to be on mating and siring as many kittens as possible, rather than nurturing their young or involving themselves in their upbringing. When it comes to the care and rearing of kittens, male cats typically take a back seat, showing minimal involvement in activities such as grooming or tending to the needs of the babies. However, it's essential to note that there are exceptions to this general behavior pattern, one notable example being Siamese male cats. Siamese males stand out for their exceptional affection and involvement in caring for their offspring. Unlike their counterparts, Siamese males display a remarkable level of paternal care, actively participating in grooming their young and engaging in nurturing behaviors to support the growth and development of the kittens. Number seven, male cats have a wanderlust. Male cats possess a wanderlust that sets them apart from their female counterparts. While female cats often prefer to stay close to home, male felines exhibit a more independent nature driven by their active sex drive. This inherent urge leads them to roam far and wide in search of females in heat, sometimes covering considerable distances in their quest for potential mates. Their curious disposition drives them to explore their surroundings eagerly, taking advantage of any opportunity to wander and investigate new territories. Fortunately, neutering your cat, a very simple procedure, can significantly curb their wanderlust. Number eight, neutered male cats have longer lives. Research has demonstrated that neutered male cats enjoy a significantly longer lifespan compared to their intact counterparts, with studies indicating a remarkable 62% increase in longevity. This notable difference in life expectancy can be attributed to the protective effects of neutering against reproductive ailments like testicular cancer. Neutering, the surgical removal of the tests, plays a crucial role in safeguarding male cats from reproductive health issues. By eliminating the risk of testicular cancer, neutering ensures a healthier and prolonged life for male felines. Furthermore, neutered male cats exhibit reduced tendencies to roam, minimizing their exposure to potential hazards outdoors. Neutering not only promotes the reproductive health of male cats, but also enhances their overall well-being by curbing roaming and territorial aggression. This underscores the importance of neutering as a proactive measure to ensure a longer and healthier life for our cherished feline companions. Number nine, male cats mark their territory or spay. One of the reasons why male cats mark their territory is to let other cats know they're around. This behavior is often seen even indoors when more than one male cat is present in the household, regardless of the cats being neutered. Marking their territory with spraying or scratches lets other cats know they're around and helps them feel more secure in their environment. There are several reasons why cats spray. Territorial marking. Tomcats have a strong territorial instinct. By spraying, they're marking their territory, signaling to other cats that the area is claimed. Communication. Spraying is also a way for cats to communicate with each other. The scent of the spray can tell other cats about the sprayer's age, sex, and health status. Stress or anxiety. Changes in a cat's environment, like moving to a new home, getting a new pet, or even changing the furniture arrangement can cause stress, leading them to spray. It's a way for them to create a familiar scent in an unfamiliar setting. Medical issues. Sometimes a cat might spray because of health problems like urinary tract infections. If spraying is accompanied by other symptoms like blood in the urine, it's important to see a vet. Neutering cats may decrease the likelihood of spraying in 90% of cats. Number 10, male cats are more solitary. 
Male cats exhibit a more solitary nature compared to their female counterparts, a trait often observed in the wild. While female cats may form colonies to assist in nurturing their offspring, male felines typically prefer solitary living arrangements to avoid competition for resources and mates. In their natural habitat, male cats are known to establish and maintain individual territories, which are often larger than those of female cats. Research indicates that male cats claim territories approximately three times larger than females. This tendency to maintain expansive territories contributes to their preference for solitude. Number 11. A male cat's personality will influence his kittens. A male cat's personality plays a significant role in shaping the behavior and temperament of his offspring, even if they never directly interact. Studies have demonstrated that the demeanor of the father cat strongly influences the characteristics exhibited by his kittens. Confident and sociable male cats tend to produce offspring with similar traits. These kittens are more at ease with social interactions and are generally easier to socialize with humans. On the contrary, if the father cat displays timid or apprehensive behavior, his kittens are likely to inherit these traits, making them more reserved and challenging to acclimate to human company. Number 12. Male cats are more prone to obstruction. Male cats face a heightened risk of developing urinary tract obstructions, particularly in their urethra. This condition, known as urinary obstruction, poses a severe threat to their health and can be excruciatingly painful. Neutered male cats, in particular, are highly susceptible to this condition, making it imperative for cat owners to remain vigilant for any signs or symptoms. One of the most telltale signs of a urinary blockage in cats is attempting to urinate without producing any urine. When a cat repeatedly visits the litter box, assumes the urination position, but fails to void any urine, it's a clear indicator of a potential blockage. Additionally, your cat may exhibit signs of discomfort or distress while attempting to urinate, such as vocalizing in pain or displaying agitation. If you notice any of these symptoms in your cat, it's crucial to seek immediate veterinary attention. Urinary obstructions can rapidly escalate into life-threatening emergencies, requiring prompt medical intervention to alleviate the blockage and prevent further complications. Early detection and treatment are paramount in ensuring the well-being and health of your male feline companion. Number 13. Most orange tabby cats are male. The majority of orange tabby cats are male, with approximately 81% of orange tabbies being of the male gender. This peculiarity stems from the genetic inheritance of coat color in cats, particularly the presence of the orange color gene located on the X chromosome. To produce an orange female kitten, both the father and mother must possess the gene for the orange coloration. However, male orange kittens always inherit the orange coloration from their mothers, irrespective of the father's coat color. This genetic phenomenon explains why orange cats are predominantly male. As a result, orange female cats are relatively uncommon, making them a unique and rare find among the feline population. Number 14. Male Maine Coons are Giants Male Maine Coons are renowned for their colossal size, earning them the title of giants among domesticated cat breeds. These majestic felines can reach impressive proportions, with adult males tipping the scales at up to 25 pounds. This weight is more than double that of an average healthy cat, typically weighing around 10 pounds. In fact, one notable male Maine Coon named Stewie even secured a place in the record books as the world's longest domestic cat, measuring just over four feet in length. Number 15. Male cats bite the neck of female cats during mating. Male cats exhibit a unique behavior during mating rituals where they bite the neck of female cats. This action may seem aggressive, but it serves a specific purpose in the natural mating process. You may have observed mother cats carrying their kittens around by the scruff of their necks. This form of transport, known as scruffing, is common in the early weeks of a kitten's life. Kittens have a reflex that causes their bodies to go limp when picked up by the scruff, making it easier for mothers to transport them. In the wild, this mechanism allows mother cats to move their offspring safely from one place to another. As adults, the only times cats are typically held by the scruff are during predator attacks or mating encounters. When male cats bite the neck of female cats during mating, they are not being aggressive. Instead, this action serves to immobilize the female, facilitating the mating process. 
It's a natural behavior that enables successful reproduction in the feline world. Number 16. They have a unique mating call. Male cats exhibit a unique vocalization behavior during mating season, known as caterwauling. While unspayed female cats in heat emit loud yowling sounds to attract males, male cats respond with their own distinctive courtship call. This caterwauling serves several purposes. It advertises their availability to female cats, responds to female mating calls, and alerts other males of their presence in the territory. These vocalizations typically occur in the evening, signaling the start of the mating ritual. It's essential to note that if your cat is neutered, they are less likely to engage in caterwauling to attract a mate. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your support not only encourages us, but also helps other cat lovers discover our content. Don't forget to share your experiences in the comments below and consider subscribing to the Wise Animals channel for more informative videos on understanding and caring for our feline friends. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.